Hey, hello, you're Sucked Charles Wolf Gorlick, a few minutes riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at WhatsApp, the recent vulnerability, and what it says to us about trust and zero trust within applications. I'm not a big user of WhatsApp. I'm not. I, I, uh, I installed it one time because we sent uh, a family member overseas on an adventure trip, and it seemed like a good way to keep up with them. But generally, you know, I'm kind of old school, right? Give me give me a normal chat program and whatnot. I, I get the value, but it, it's not really my thing. Um, but you may have seen that WhatsApp is vulnerable. There is a, a attack that I'll detail in a few minutes that allowed people to install spyware. And really the tip for you is this. We talk a lot about zero trust within networks, but the trust we place within our applications are equally important. And it can be trust within that, the phone where we say, yeah, we trust you use the mic, of course. And the camera, yeah, because we're gonna be sending photos and, and uh, doing phone calls. But once you trust that application, do you really know that's to that application? Do you really know that it hasn't been compromised? Do you really know that vulnerabilities don't exist in it? And what do you do when those vulnerabilities do exist? Like what happened with WhatsApp? So WhatsApp um, has this bug, it appears to be a bug in the phone handler. So uh, in theory, a, uh, someone like me could call someone like you <laughs> and, uh, and I could inject uh, malicious code into that call data stream and uh, in doing so, get your WhatsApp to um, do things that uh, perhaps you wouldn't want it to. Um, this has been discovered to be uh, exploited in the wild. WhatsApp at the time of this recording is working on a patch. So as always, update your software. <laughs> you don't even need to answer. They say that uh, missed calls will work as well. It's that connection of my WhatsApp to your WhatsApp that allows the uh, inject of the code. And what was happening was that uh, folks were using this to inject spyware, right? So to inject code that could do things such as listen to your microphone and watch from your camera. Not the type of thing I want someone doing from my phone. Not cool. Not cool. Um, it is interesting because we trusted WhatsApp to use phone and camera, uh, much like we trust apps all the time. I did a demo for a long time about app locker. We would trust certain apps to be whitelisted and not trust others. And you would trust an app like Word and with a simple macro or something, you could of course run a command shell and do any number of things under the premise of I'm word process, you trust me. It's very difficult these days to wrap any more controls around uh, around an application once it starts behaving anomalously. We, I'm sure we'll get to the point where UEBA solutions and whatnot will be going down to the process level, going down to the application level. Right now we're just struggling with like the network level and where users are going. Um, I don't see a real clear solution yet other than being aware of what you are uh, opening yourself up to every time you install an application. And of course, every single application has vulnerabilities uh, and many of these vulnerabilities become exploitable over time. And so I'm sure this is not the last we're gonna hear about some mobile app being compromised. Uh, what do you think? What's a good solution for these types of uh, problems? Hit me up in comments or social media. Cheers.